Time for the forecast. I'm meteorologist Dave Hubney. This is Morrow Rock and the marine layer is around. However, tomorrow I think it's going to be diminished a bit by building high pressure. It's going to make the interior areas even warmer than today. And today some hit the 90s while beaches were kind of a range of 60s and low 70s, though only a couple of spots hit the 70s. So over the next couple of days near 70 at some of the beaches. Now, yes, a little bit of early morning cloud cover, but I think it ought to clear faster than today. But Wednesday it surges back. I'll explain why coastal valleys to about 80 degrees giving away whatever gains we get on Tuesday on Wednesday in the interior near 100 tomorrow. No advisories for us, but elsewhere in the region there are some for excessive heat and then Wednesday will give up 10 degrees, maybe even more so. Now, Sacramento temperatures near 100 on Tuesday. Wednesday, you're looking at nearly 100. The Bay Area mid 70s backing off to about 70. Monterey in the 60s the next couple of days, but the downward trend is there. LA temperatures also the downward trend, but again, muted by the fact that marine layer is already present. It's just how much of it will there be? And Palm Springs and Las Vegas warm this time of year, and there really isn't a whole lot of change expected there. Take a look at current conditions. You got temperatures. 50s, 60s at the beaches with 60s and 70s in the coastal valleys, including the Santa Inez Valley and the interior off the peak. But we're in the upper 80s and low 90s still in south coast temperatures close to 70 downtown. So we're giving away some heat here at the coast. We're picking it up in the interior after a really mild weekend. And again, the winds are on shore here about 5 to 15. So Morro Bay was essentially socked in to start the day, but the base of the marine layer was fairly high and it did allow some clearing. And as you saw here recently in the live picture, it's back. Modeling is anticipating more of the clouds pushing into the coastal valleys tonight, but you're going to notice where it doesn't go. It doesn't get deep enough to get all the way into the interior. That's one of the reasons we're looking at temperatures near the triple digits in the interior as we go through the day on Tuesday. Right now it's 102 in Vegas and 104 in Palm Springs if you're just looking at the warmer numbers. Now, nationally speaking, we're warm, but we're not blisteringly hot right now. There are some interesting areas of activity, including what's going on here in North Dakota. So from Minot across to places like Grafton, North Dakota, it's raining. And there's some big thunderstorms heading through central South Dakota near the Capitol Pier. Let's take a look at what's going on right now. You can see that up to the north, we've got this area of high pressure just right in here trying to build on Tuesday. But to the south, we have this interesting area of upper low pressure. That's going to coast across California, deepen the marine layer as we go through through the middle of the week. That's why Wednesday and Thursday temperatures nose down, but then we go back up toward the weekend. So you've got temperatures in the 70s for Lompoc and Santa Maria and Santa Barbara with 80 in slow and 98 in Paso Robles. Beaches though with some marine influence, generally 60s to about 70. I do think that Avila might be one of those warmer spots. Five cities again right around 70 to 75 degrees. The deep interior is going to be warm. Cuyama near 100, Santinez Valley closer to 80, South Coast right around 70. Extended forecast temperatures go up tomorrow, down a little Wednesday, more on Thursday, but rebound for the weekend to nearly 100 in the interior valleys. San Luis Obispo temperatures 80s, but returning to the 80s by the weekend. Santa Maria temperatures also up and down as well as Santa Barbara. We do have to watch for winds and dryness of the air, potential fire weather conditions for Saturday in Santa Barbara.